Well, good morning to you, and I'm happy to continue my great conversations here as the legislative session progresses. And 35th District Representative Dan Griffey on the air with me this morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? I am well. Good to see you. It was a busy week in the uh, House of Representatives as the Democrats put forth their budget. Some uh, early uh, uh, impressions of it, opinions of it. What do you think? Well, it raises a lot of taxes if they can get some tax bills out, but we haven't seen the tax bills, so we only kind of have a sneak preview of what taxes they want to raise, uh, business occupation taxes, uh, they want to do capital gains taxes, um, there's still a soda bottle, a, a, a bottled water tax, uh, uh, soda tax, uh, all those kind of things. So, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding. We, we don't know what it's going to look like, really, until we get it out. We just know a kind of a number. Yeah. And so how they're going to get to the number, we're not uh, entirely sure of yet. But uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, healthy negotiations and coming up with a budget that, you uh, that most people can like because we find that when it comes to any of this stuff that we can't get everybody to like oh it. yeah no there's no 100 percent on it there's not gonna be 100 percent. it's your money and you want to keep it yeah and i don't blame you yeah uh we are hearing as well from uh drew McEwen, other from the 35th and state senator tim sheldon i talked with him yesterday about these same kind of issues that he was seeing you've got some votes on this as well coming up too right yeah we'll be voting today on the budget mm -hmm. uh expect it to be a long debate I, I think it could go over three hours in debate wow um but yeah uh, uh, there's usually uh, 50 or 60 amendments to the budget and i expect each one of those amendments could take us uh, 20 30 minutes to to uh, debate, and uh, yeah, so depending on how many budgets uh, amendments actually make it, uh, depends on how long it's going to take it, us to pass it. So talk to me about that that process there. The budget's out there; it's the document, and any member of the House of Representatives can put forth an amendment to change that, and from there, what happens? Yeah, ab absolutely. Everyone everyone can uh, introduce a a budget amendment uh, to change the priorities of the spending, that sort of thing. There's one uh, that just continues to bug me and my seatmate, uh, Representative McEwen, is uh, $15 million again for transit mitigation for Bertha uh, oh, yeah. overage. As everyone will remember, the, the Bertha tunnel, any overage, any overage was negotiated with Seattle that they would pay for. Yeah. And now we've been pay we've, we're, you know, into the hundreds of millions of dollars in overages that we continue to pay for. It It's... Uh, uh, very irritating to me. Uh, I'm, uh, and that'll be in the transportation budget. So it's a little different, yeah. but um, it's still about nine point one billion dollars that we'll be talking about probably early next week. But uh, that's one. I don't have any uh, any amendments for the, the, this budget right now planned. Uh, but I do expect on the transportation budget that I will continue to object to more money being shoveled into Bertha. I mean, what's the deal there? Is it is it a Seattle City Council problem? Is it a sound transit problem? Is it a miscommunication between them and the, Sunil, the Seattle Tunnel Project business that's drilling the hole? Where's the breakdown here well i think the good news is if you look at if you pull it up today uh, bertha is going to be somewhere i think under 200 feet yeah to go so bertha's on track it's going to punch through it's going to be the you know the world's largest tunnel ever dug and it's taken a long time to do it, it sure has. Uh, that's disappointing um you know there is a there's a huge amount of influence from the seattle area uh, representatives they have most of the representation in the state. Yeah. And the disappointing thing is, is that happens quite often, is that they will get their way. Um, and we're going to continue to uh, object to that. And that $15 million, um, I expect that I, well, I'm going to write an amendment to put it to a, a transportation safety project here in the 35th district. All right. Well, good. And we'll continue on with checking with these issues. What else do you have forthcoming in the next week or two uh, that could really have some some good sway or good impact here. The well, the good the good news is seven of my bills are going to make it make it through and probably be signed onto the governor. Um, I'm excited about that. Still, I'm very disappointed that uh, felony statu statute of limitations uh, ending the statute of limitations on felony sex yeah. crimes died. Uh, um, yeah. But I'm in strong negotiations to revive it next session. It's still alive because it goes back to the House of Origin. Okay. So. Um, We'll fight again. I'm making progress with the senator that says no, 
And I'm thinking we'll. I think we have a lot better shot to get it done next year. Uh, disappointed, but gonna. I'm not gonna stop. Yeah. I'm like the Terminator when it comes to these things. A lot of these bills and uh, these new p proposals, they they do take some time, a couple sessions to maybe start to get under the skin of some folks that really understand them. It seems like as we kind of talk more about these over the years. Oh yeah, I, I just want the survivors to know that we got their back, and that's so I will keep fighting. Um, they have they suffer every day, and it gives them a, a, a little bit more courage to get up in the morning, and it and it gives and it really makes them believe that somebody really does care. So um, if I have to work really hard and struggle and toil, it's it ha it's nothing in comparison to what they went through. Yeah. So I will do it day in day out. Um, like I said, like the Terminator, I will not stop. 35th District Representative Dan Griffey, it's always nice talking with you. I know you got some big votes today, so uh, go forth, do the people's work, and then have a great weekend.